Hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family turn notifications on way down there and give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So today I thought we could talk about my one year admission. Now I mentioned this in a lot of my videos but I've never made a full video explaining why I was in hospital for a year. Now I was under a section 3 until discharge so it's not like it was my choice to be there. I was detained but that's the end. Let's talk about the beginning. So to begin with I spent two weeks in general hospital at Sussex County Hospital. I made a video on that the other day and it'll play, I will link it in the description down below. I was at Sussex County Hospital for two weeks, I appealed my section, I lost my appeal and I was then transferred to a psychiatric unit in Ticehurst where I stayed there for a year. So the first two weeks I was on a section two, there was no change there, then it came to go on to a section three. Now here's where the drama starts. So I was told I would be made informal. Which I thought, yes, I get my freedom back. But I had leave as well. Escorted leave. And when we went for a walk, I legged it. Then a day later I got called into the psychiatrist room and she said I'm put I'm a, I'm applying to put you on a section three. Now the reason I legged it wasn't because I wanted to escape. I knew I needed to be in hospital. I didn't want to be in hospital, hence the section. But I didn't want to escape the hospital because I knew I needed to be there. Deep down. And I legged it because I needed to get back to my Well, our flat. I was living with another woman. I was renting a room and I couldn't afford to pay the rent because I was going into hospital. I had got a job lined up in Brighton to start, which would have paid my rent, but I got sectioned, so yeah. My family had came, drove down to Brighton to get my stuff, and yeah, it was eventful. My stepdad still hasn't spoke to me, but yeah. Back to hospital. Now when I got part on a section three, after I had the mental health assessment, which you have to have another mental health assessment before you can get part on section three from section two, the trouble was I didn't want to be in hospital and I made that very clear to the person setting me that I didn't want to be in hospital. I agreed I'd do outpatient care and that wasn't enough, apparently I needed to be in hospital. I was really unwell, don't get me wrong, so I can understand now why they kept me in, but it's such a ball ache. So I got put on section three, I didn't leave my room for four days, um, yeah, and staff got quite worried about me, because I wouldn't go in the dining room to eat, I wouldn't leave my room, they had to bring my medication to me. Just, I was so down. I was in the pits of depression, and then suddenly, when my antidepressant got changed, I swung right the other way. I was manic, and I am a living nightmare when I'm manic. I spend all my money. I mean, I do that, I do that anyway, but not the point. Honestly, the admission was a bit hit and miss because there was a lot of abuse that went on. Unnecessary restraints, long restraints, bruises everywhere, getting thrown on the floor, having water thrown over me, being kicked, shoved out of bed, forced medication. It wasn't a happy time in my life. I was still uploading to YouTube, but 
looking back at the videos now, I was flat. My medications would numb me out so much that I just couldn't function as a human being. And while yes, my medication is still the same, ish, minus the clonazepam. My clonazepam dose now is a lot lower than what it was when I was in hospital. Thank God. Um, yeah, when it came to discharge time, I was sectioned until the day I left. So, but yeah, when I was discharged, I was very happy. But yeah, there was a lot of abuse going on in that hospital. And everyone that experienced it was too afraid to speak up about it. Just to quickly add into this video, I forgot to film this. I was kept in hospital because I had nowhere to go. I was held under the section 3 of the mental health act, which I'll put on screen right here. And in short, that al uh, allowed them to keep me in hospital until they found me a, a place to live, which is here. I live in supported living, and the reason they kept me in hospital for, because I had nowhere to go was because I couldn't move back with my family. So that wasn't a choice. They wanted me to be able to carry on doing my degree, so they knew it had to be London. And they wanted me to be somewhere where I had support to avoid admissions. And to stay well. So that's why I was in hospital so long. It took a while to find a placement. Now I know people can say you're taking up a bed space. All of my choice. I was on a section. I don't get to choose what happens. So yeah, that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button like I said at the beginning. Check out my Patreon if you haven't already. I upload one video a week exclusive to that channel. So yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.